Hello everyone, my name is Paul Mayui, and we're back for Pokemon Y Shiny Hunting Episode 226, Lapras. If you didn't watch the last episode, why didn't you? And if so, this episode's topic is by me. Um, so it's pretty much about Arc Survival Evolved, so whether you like it or not, it's not going to be a long topic at all. You can literally like skip even a probably a minute later like skip to where it says two minutes on the video and it probably would be done so but if you want to just listen then go ahead <laughs> anyway so like I said it's by me it's just simply what do you play Arc Survival Evolved on and um, me personally the first and really only way I really can uh, really depend on it without lagging right now is on my uh, brothers one of my brothers Xbox one that's pretty much it and that's like the first time uh, first one I played it on so yeah so uh, that's pretty much it and I wouldn't really mind playing on the other stuff if I actually had way more memory on my computer and I didn't mind sparing memory on it um, but of course I don't have that much so I gotta be very sparing with it so I just gotta pretty much that's my answer just Xbox one for now cause that's the best thing I can go for without it lagging next to it all and uh, yeah and just have the availability for me currently so yeah that's pretty much it so I'm curious what do you play it on if uh, like I said even if you care about it if you didn't read the video I mean to like when I warned you about it but uh, yeah so I figured out something that I wanted to tell you when I was waiting on the episode to um, the previous episode to transfer onto my flash drive, I was uh, remembering to tell you that I completed that little document I was talking about for the things, I called it things to do while streaming, and there's so many things um, from all of my games, and uh, yeah, pretty that's pretty much, uh, pretty much it to where what I've covered so far on the streaming. So, uh, I'll give an example for like the easy voting. So how I did it was each of the sections I numbered uh, like say the first one I put as um, I put as Game Boy Color. So I'll put that as number one and then say uh, I think the first the first one I was saying I think it's Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy Color and that would be um, the letter A so pretty much if you wanted to quick vote for um, a certain thing to do while I was streaming then you would say 1A that's pretty much how you would easily be able to vote for that for currently uh, Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy Color so it's just an example so um, yeah um, if y'all wanted to see it early, then I can just show it to you in the up in uh, one of the upcoming episodes. But yeah, so I just want to make sure that you all knew that that I finally got that done. It didn't take a super long time. It's just I like to be very organized with these kind of things. So yeah. So anyway, yeah. And I just wanted to might as well talk about the how I'm doing on uh, Pokemon Soul Silver. So. Pretty much, I am, I left off, well I will say what I did pretty much yesterday, so I started out with training on my Pokemon to level 20, 27? No, no, not 27, 29, and that's because that I went to the Burn Tower in Ecruteak City, and I fought my rival, so... I named him Salt in that game, and uh, you'll know why in a future time, because it's actually from an anime I don't think I've talked about yet, so I want to save that. Spoilers, but if, uh, I guess you can look it up on Google and maybe you'll be able to find out what the anime I'm talking about. So, Salt, of course, is matching the rival in that game, which, of course, the, if you didn't know the rival for... Um, uh, so silver heart gold and silver gold and crystal, they are all the same. They are this uh, 
this boy that's like a thief in the beginning and all that and uh not very nice but spoiler alert he actually kind of gets better but you don't get to see that much progression because it's like towards the end of the game and you don't see that many uh side quests with him but you do see one which is pretty cool so um but anyway yeah so yeah so you can piece that together to figure out what anime he's from and uh yeah so that's another thing i do as well um i don't know if i talked about that but um yeah i for the pokemon games that i can actually name my rival i will and it, I'll try my best to name it by like one of the games I play where the animes I play like a character from them that matches like uh, from their hair color to their skin color and all that uh, all that stuff and just their whole personality so I'll just like do my best to match up because I think it's interesting just to have different names from there <laughs> I just think so I just thought it was something nice to add so, um, so yeah, anyway, like I was saying, um, you have a rival battle in the Burn Tower when you tried to go down a ladder, he just battles you, and, um, I was just grinding on my Pokemon at level 29 because his highest was a level 22, and that's, uh, for me, I, that was, like, higher levels to what I experienced so far in the game, so that's why I got him on level 29, so, anyway, then I further went on and did the stuff you usually do, like, um, like, make sure that you trigger the legendary dogs to run off out of the tower, and then going further on to taking on the, the gym in that town, and I did defeat him, Morty, and he was quite annoying, because, um, his, his haunter was barely able to live my Noctowl's confusion, to where it can get a curse off on me, and if you don't know what curse does, uh, for ghost types, it halves the, well actually I'll say for other types first, so, if you try to use curse on anything other than a ghost type, it'll increase your attack and defense by one stage, and lower your speed by one stage as well, so, I'll get that out of the way first, just in case you're confused, but, with ghost types, curse always makes sure to cut the current the um, maximum health of that Pokemon that used it in half in order to place a curse on the, uh, the, uh, the opponent's Pokemon, on that opponent's Pokemon. Like, you can switch out to uh, get, get that out of the way. Like, if you were to get uh, confused, then when you switch out, it'll just be cured. But, um, yeah, I didn't want to do that because I wanted my Noctowl to get training because um, he was still, like, I still wanted to get experience on him. So, yeah, so anyway, so I pretty much was, um, I was fighting, and then uh, I, I was doing good so far. They kept having Sucker Punch, so it was, like, whittling down my health because Curse also takes 25% of your maximum health each turn. So, yeah, they, like, made it pretty difficult when it came to facing his ace, his Gengar, level 25. And, um, if you didn't train up for that, then that thing could be very difficult if you don't have that many things to go up against. But, thankfully, since his, uh, the Gengar line, evolution line, or poison types, my confusion was doing quite a number on him. At least, like, over half his health. But, he had a Citrus Berry, so he was able to get a, um a second chance at doing like a big number on my Noctowl, but thank god I had two extra hyper potions that I just picked up out of nowhere just during going through the story and I'm glad I saved those and that made me learn that I should make sure to have ten hyper potions and uh, ten super potions ten super potions to heal outside of battle and ten hyper potions to heal for like instant to make sure because most of the times, I don't really get in those kind of situations to where my health is getting absolutely destroyed. And, um, yeah. So, um, so anyway, so pretty much I got through that, and I'm glad I did. So, I finally was able to use Surf because 
if you didn't know in that town, you never played the game before, of course, um, then in the dance hall, you have to beat this Team Rocket Grunt, he's picking on, um, a kimono girl, and then the gentleman looking guy with the Psyduck, after he gives you TM, not the TM, the HM Surf, and you can only use Surf in that game by defeating Mori. So, I was gonna defeat, I was gonna fight the gym anyway, just to clear out the town, but, um, yeah, so pretty much, that's what's up with that. And, um, but of course today, I will be continuing to only do the bug catching contest until hopefully I get a leaf stone. Um, but anyway, what I was leaving off on yesterday, after I got done with Morty, after I did shopping and all that, I went ahead and, uh, go and try to catch a Pokemon that can learn Surf, because no one on my team currently can learn Surf, sadly. So I had to go get what they call an HM Slave, and go use it for Surf, so, since it was at night time, I had to go and get the low chance Poliwag with the old rod, and route 25 I think it said? You, the one like you go and um, right above Goldenrod City, that route where there's the big water right there, so that's how you get Poliwag to be able to get surf, but if it's nighttime then you can pretty easily go search in the grass in the route um, under, what's it called, Violet City, and you can easily get a whooper, because I remembered that you can get a whooper, but I didn't know if it was like a certain time of day that you had to get it, and I was I'm glad I looked it up, because I would have been there forever, uh, so yeah, but anyway, I eventually did get a polywag, thankfully, and then I further went on to get an even better HM Slave, either a Psyduck or a Golduck you can get by surfing on that same water where you can get that Poliwag with the old rods. so luckily I got the Golduck because I don't know if Psyduck had the same um, all the same HMs they can learn as Golduck but caught a Golduck so yeah <laughs> so I got that all done so now currently I left off with um, going to the best training spot that I think so far in that point of the game is, and that is on the route right under Goldenrod City in the, in the water, because you get a lot of high level tentacles and sometimes tentacles, and they're just awesome experience in general, so, yeah, it's pretty awesome that I finally get to the really good experience so far in the game, because, yeah, Burn Tower had, uh, when you get to the bottom floor, it's very common for the Magmars to come out, and that's a pretty awesome experience, but, um, Tentacool, the Tentacools, the Tentacruel, the Tentacruel and Tentacools are very good experience, especially to, if these have super effective stuff on them, so, yeah, so, anyway, um, that's what I'm currently on, but I will, of course, like I said, make sure to get to the bug catching contest only today until I get that Leaf Stone. So, or unless I randomly get that call from Gina to get that leaf stone, but I'm pretty sure that on the route that that person is that you want to have a call from, you, they don't call you if you're on the same route. I'm pretty sure if you even try to call them, you'll say, it'll say, go talk to them in person or something like that. <laughs> so anyway, this will be the last uh, one to check for the episode, so yeah, so I just wanted to make sure you all knew that. And um, also, my dunce bars learned Screech finally and got rid of Glare, so really my only status condition one is my Noctile with the Hypnosis for now. So anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, and if you don't mind uh, donate, donating my Patreon, uh, it would be very helpful to me, as long as you're not putting yourself in a bad spot, of course. Uh, the link's in the description down below if you want to feel free to do so. But anyway, I'll be seeing y'all later. I've been your host, Paul Samayoi, and... Goodbye.